Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing your love reading for June 2023 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'll be taking a look at your love interests, their current feelings and actions they plan on taking, as well as singles towards the end. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get started. Cross watchers could be vice versa. If this, this does not resonate, you are more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and see what is this person's feelings for you at this time? I mean, just Holy Spirit. Aquarius, love interest. What are their feelings for Aquarius at this time? What are their feelings for Aquarius at this time? I mean, just Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. You have fall, surrender. Something significant could have happened in the fall. You could be dealing with someone whose birthday's in the fall or you met in the fall. Something like that. But... Also, some of you may be into no communication with this person at this time. I did see the mute card. I'm not feeling that too heavy, but for some of you, you are into little to no communication. What is this person's feelings? Purge. Oh, okay. They're crying here. So this person's crying. They're sad. They want to come in with an offer here. They're ready to surrender. Wow. Look at this. Fall, surrender, purge, and then you have offer. Wine could be very significant for some of you. Maybe you drink wine with this person, you did in the past, or someone here just really likes wine. Pumpkin flavored things as well. Let's go ahead and dig further. Candles, specifically like white vanilla smell candles. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see. What is this person's feelings for Aquarius? Getting this Holy Spirit to make clear messages. Four of Wands. You could be dealing with a Twin Flame. All right. I am seeing 11-11 here. Wow. Strong Capricorn here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For very few of you, maybe you lived with this person, had plans to move in and living or something like that. Or if not, this is just a very strong spiritual connection. You could have met this person when you were out celebrating somewhere. Now, I am, I am seeing the Queen of Cups as well. So that is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Something very specific about drinks. I don't know if you like, like you went out with this person for drinks. You met them when you were out having drinks or you guys would drink together. Something about drinks. It doesn't have to be alcohol related, guys. It could be like coffee or tea or something like that, okay? Um, I do feel like this person is slightly obsessed with you, all right? They do have a lot of love for you, okay, with the Queen of Cups here. And they see you as someone, you know, that either you have a family with or you could have had a family with. They see you as like a twin flame. They have strong feelings for you. Some of you, there could be like a two to four age difference. Around there. I'm hearing February. I'm hearing April, October, November. Let's see. Tell me more about this person's feelings for Aquarius. So, Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you do have the Strength card here as well. Strong Leo Energy, Nine of Pentacles. So, I feel like this person right now, they're really focused on their independence. I'm also feeling the energy that someone didn't want to commit. Either you or this person were like very either inconsistent or unsure of whether or not to commit, like be exclusive. I do feel like this person watches you at a distance. Maybe this person's in, at an actual distance, but yeah, there's a strong spiritual connection here. Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. There could have been a heartbreak or a third-party situation or someone yet was not healed. Maybe this is why you two couldn't either last or be in a real long-term commitment, exclusive relationship because maybe someone still had to heal from something or someone that happened in the past. Timing, something about timing, all right? Let's go ahead and see. What actions does this person plan on taking towards Aquarius? For very few of you, there could have been addictions involved. That's for very, very few of you. What actions does this person plan on taking towards Aquarius? Divine Masculine. Mute. And Family. 
someone has regret this person's feeling regretful what they're hiding their emotions with the mask card yeah they're observing you they're being patient what in the world you have mask observer and patience here i see this person staying quiet and observing you wearing a false mask making it seem like they're over you or not expressing emotions or not revealing emotions to you they're being patient Why are they being patient about what, though? You could be going through the dark night of the soul for some of you. Maybe this person's being patient, waiting for you to contact them. Let's see. Let's dig further. Nope. Action this person plans on taking towards the heart. The Emperor Aries energy. The Hangman Pisces. And the Hermit Virgo. Wow, yeah, I see a lot of silence here. This person's really trying to control their emotions. They're trying not to say anything or do anything impulsively. Some of you could be married to this person or you were married to this person. Or had plans. Tell me more. Four of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. I see this person really just focusing on themselves, to be quite honest. They could be healing, like literally healing from like an illness, an injury. Something that happened or healing from this connection. I see that they have a lot of love for you still though, okay? A little bit obsessive energy as well. But they're wearing a false mask, Aquarius. They're not letting you know this. They're not. Why is this person not revealing their emotions? Why are they staying quiet here? Aquarius, the full card. Knight of Wands. For some of you, okay, listen, Aquarius, there could, there could have been a third-party situation here, Two of Swords. There could have been a third-party situation that interfered here, or maybe there currently is a third-party situation. That's why someone's deciding to, like, stay quiet and not say anything. Um, or, you know, this doesn't mean it's going to resonate with you, Aquarius, but they could be feeling like maybe you're a player. Doesn't mean it's true. Cost watchers could be vice versa. They could be feeling like, you know, you're dealing with somebody else or that, you know, it's inconsistent or that you're like very charming and giving attention to other people. That's why they could be hiding their emotions. Or again, there could have been a third party in the past. So let's see what this person wants to tell you. What does this person want to tell Aquarius? What does this person want to tell Aquarius? I feel really bad for how I treated you. I'm going through some things. It's painful not to be with you right now. You know, and maybe this person is aware that they were a player like or inconsistent in the past and therefore that's why they don't want to come forward and make a fool, I guess, out of themselves. They could be observing you as well to see when is the correct time or the right time to reach out. What else does this person want to tell Aquarius? Too many, but this one flipped over. You are in my head. Pawn situation. Your, your smile lights up my world. When I saw you, it was no coincidence. I don't know how to approach you. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. I do feel like they really want to contact you, Aquarius. But the thing is that, you know, they could be really not sure if expressing their emotions or taking action would be the right thing to do because of either player like tendencies inconsistency third party situation some type of heartbreak yeah you know what i just want to clarify here before i move on 
tell me more about this person that Aquarius is thinking about. Tell me about this person. Tell me more. What's going on? The Magician in Reverse. Yeah, someone could have cheated. Someone could have cheated or lied. All right, Magician in Reverse. Gemini Virgo energy. Or they could have been very manipulating. Um, manipulating, there could have been gaslight. If someone gaslighted someone. Could be you or them. You know, take it how it resonates here. Six of Cups. They're nostalgic. Very nostalgic energy here. Okay. Yeah, someone didn't want maybe to commit or wasn't ready for commitment. Or someone was non committal. Two of Wands. Someone could be at a distance as well. Yeah, I feel like someone was either like a player or they cheated or there was inconsistency, kept their options open or didn't want to be exclusive. Something like that. Yeah, again with the Knight of Wands. Full card. Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone could have like, you know, had SE, you know what, with somebody else and got caught. Wow, very specific messages. But I feel like this person is observing you. I don't know. I don't feel like they're going to be contacting you, at least not in the beginning of June. They're trying to remain in control. But they're wearing a false mask. Aquarius, don't be fooled. They still have a lot of feelings for you. They're trying to hide their emotions. All right, let's go ahead and move on to singles. This didn't resonate. Feel free to check your other placements. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and move on to singles. Aquarius singles, please. What can Aquarius singles expect in love? June 2023. A lot of attention, that's for sure. Okay, all these cards came out. Two of Swords. Six of Wands. Eight of Cups, Knight of Cups in reverse, the World card. Okay, so I definitely see an ending here. The Tower, wow, very unexpected changes. Some of you could be deciding to disconnect or move away from maybe a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, strong Scorpio here. C completely closing out a chapter, leaving a situation. I feel like maybe you were stuck for the longest time, but I see you moving away or moving on from the situation. I do see you getting a lot of attention, possibly recognition. With the Six of Wands, you could be meeting someone on social media or someone who's very well-known, maybe famous for some of you in the public eye. Yeah, I see you getting a lot of attention. Tell me more about this. The Devil, Capricorn energy. Hmm, some of you could be meeting a Capricorn. Aquarius Singles. Eight of Wands, wow. A lot of communication, a lot of back and forth commu passionate communication between you and a maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be a Scorpio, Capricorn, very strong here. See a lot of like good news coming in here. Fast communication, getting a lot of attention, passionate communication between either a fire sign, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Tell me more about this. Very unexpected here, too. Tell me more. What's the Six of Wands about? Yeah, something about a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know if you're cutting this person off or you already did. Four of Pentacles. Some of you, you have a secret admirer. Could be, a, once again, a Scorpio or a Capricorn. They have a crush on you. You may already know this person. King of Wands. There's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. Very mature, very sexy person. Ooh, Ace of Wands. I see it in the beginning here. Ace of Wands. So, yeah, definitely could be a fire sign. Strong fire here. They could have fire placements. Or they could be a Scorpio. Capricorn. But I feel that you're definitely closing out a chapter in June. Completely walking away from it. Traveling. Maybe you're traveling for some of you. And getting a lot of attention, recognition. This person could be very well known in the community. Or they're just very well known in what they do, in the public eye, famous for some of you. And I feel like this is going to be a very passionate, a little bit dangerous connection, not going to lie, Aquarius. You're about to meet or deal with somebody that you're very passionate. 
very very passionate connection could be a little bit obsessive here just be careful with that but there's gonna be a lot of passion in this in this connection all right aquarius but that's what i'm seeing if it didn't resonate feel free to check your other placements thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel and if you haven't already please like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll talk to you soon bye bye